Subaru fans in the US have been left out on the cold in the past when special edition WRX STIRAs have been produced, but Subaru of America gets this one for North American fans. The 2018 Subaru WRX STI Type RA was produced after the Subaru 2017 Nürburgring record attempt, the fastest lap ever for a four-door sedan. It's a limited production STI with only 500 examples being built. The new 2018 Subaru WRX STI Type RA comes with a price tag of $48,995 plus destination, $860, while the base 2018 Subaru WRX STI can be had for $36,095. This represents a premium of $10,400 over a base STI equipped with Recaro seats and keyless entry and ignition, both features are standard on the Type RA. So is it worth the extra cost? Engineering explained host Jason Fensk had some will time in the WRX STI RA and gives his input during the drive in the video below. The Type RA gets a new intake and new exhaust system that gives the standard 2.5-litre boxer an extra 2 horsepower and reduces back pressure by 50%. It also gets a tweaked engine control unit ECU, that commands a bit more maximum boost, sodium-filled exhaust valves, and new pistons only on the Type RA. This produces 5 additional horsepower over the EJ25 2.5-litre boxer in the standard WRX STI. The torque is unchanged at 290 pounds-feet, but the third gear ratio is more aggressive, 1.590 instead of 1.521 in the 6-speed manual gearbox to take advantage of the increased lower-end torque. The torque curve map was also changed between 2 to 3,000 RPMs to take advantage of the third gear changes. Other changes includes a carbon fiber roof reducing weight by 5 pounds, and lowering the center of gravity 2 mm, 19-inch wheels versus standard 18-inch. Subaru says the total difference in weight is 68 pounds versus a base STI with Recaro seats coming from the lighter wheels, tire repair kit, carbon roof, adjustable rear wing, and rear seat armrest. It also gets an upgraded suspension with Bilstein sourced and STI tuned dampers, and rear wheel vents to reduce lift and drag. Subaru says the Type RA gets a 1.4% less drag coefficient over the base STI. The revised wing, in conjunction with a new front splitter and rear valance, reduces lift at both axles without inducing more drag. Early reviews from those who have driven the new WRX STI Type RA say it's not worth the extra cost. The 2018 Subaru WRX STI Type RA will arrive in showrooms in the next couple of weeks. Tesla certainly has big ambitions for its sleek all-electric vehicles, though these plans don't, or yet, include wireless chargers. But, come April, a group of engineers say they will launch a wireless charging pad that fits seamlessly into the Tesla Model 3, the electric vehicle company's first mass-market offering, and the vehicle the company's future is balanced upon. Tesla Wireless Pad is marketing their $99 product as something Tesla's chief designer, Franz von Holzhausen, forgot to include below the Model 3's touchscreen. The charging pad can be installed in three easy steps, which involves connecting a USB cable to the dashboard. The pad, according to its makers, will charge any key-enabled phone, key is the modern standard for charging phones using magnetic induction. Key-enabled phones include the likes of Apple's iPhone 8, 8 Plus, X and many of the latest Samsung Galaxy Note and Edge models. The company doesn't make any bold claims about super-fast wireless charging, noting it prefers to state that the Tesla wireless pad should charge your phone as fast as your average charger. It seems quite unlikely that the wireless charger will have a different or meaningful effect on the Model 3's driving range, up to 310 miles, more than any normal charging would.
Nissan began general sales of the new Leaf in the UK on February 2, although the first was delivered on January 31, by presenting its latest EV on Electric Avenue in Brixton, the UK's first electrified shopping street. The crossroads of London's first electrified street and one of its most polluted, Electric Avenue in Brixton Road in Lambeth, is one of the most suitable places for EVs. London suffers serious problems with pollution and congestion, so step by step the city is making access more expensive to ICE. In the future, Electric Avenue will maybe expand to become an electric city. The fully electric vehicle, EV, which delivers zero emissions whilst driving, goes on sale in the same week that London's air pollution reached the annual legal limit for nitrogen dioxide (NO2) just 30 days into the year. Brixton Road in Lambeth broke the hourly air pollution limit 18 times during January. EU rules state that a single location in the UK can only break the limit 18 times in a year. Brixton's Electric Avenue, a landmark market street in South London, provided the perfect backdrop to capture the next generation of the best-selling Nissan EV. Constructed in the 1880s, Electric Avenue was the UK's first shopping street to be lit by electricity, revolutionary at a time when gas lamps were the norm. Fast forward to 2018 and London is taking a new focus on electrification. TfL and the Mayor of London are encouraging the use of electric vehicles to lower emissions and tackle London's polluted air. In 2017, Transport for London TfL, London Councils and the Greater London Authority GLA, announced almost £4.5 million in funding for the installation of electric vehicle charging infrastructure on London streets to support drivers wanting to switch to zero-emission vehicles. 10 Australian pounds toxicity charge or T-charge was also introduced in October 2017 in the congestion charge area for vehicles that failed to meet minimum Euro emission standards. Electric vehicles, such as the new Nissan LEAF, are exempt from both the daily T-charge and London congestion charge and will also be able to drive freely in the new ultra-low emission zone ULEZ when it comes into force in April 2019. Carl Bayless, EV Business Development Manager, Nissan Motor, GB, Limited said, We are delighted that the new Nissan LEAF is now on sale across the UK. Much more than just an EV, the LEAF is a whole new driving experience, designed to move people with greater exhilaration, confidence and connection to the world around them. Nissan looks forward to EVs playing an increasingly important role in the sustainable development of our urban infrastructure, not just improving air quality, but also in the storage, management and distribution of renewable energy. Subaru started off the new year the right way, earning their best January sales ever. This accomplishment follows a successful 2017, a record-breaking year with more than 647,000 units sold. January 2018 brought Subaru 44,357 vehicle sales, with the Crosstrek and the Outback taking center stage. Both the Crosstrek and Outback earned their best January sales ever with 9,437 and 13,279 units sold, respectively. Subaru's president and COO Thomas J. Dahl said, Our retailers continue to understand that in today's competitive auto market, it is vitally important to convey to our customers the value that is inherent in all of our products and services. It is through the determination of our retailers that we continue to establish yearly month-over-month -month sales increases in such a competitive auto industry environment. Last month brought a year-over-year -year increase of 1.1%, compared to Subaru's 43,879 units sold January 2017. Four Subaru models saw increases in year-over-year -year sales, the Impreza, Outback, BRZ, and Crosstrek. The Crosstrek saw the most significant jump, 
a 45% increase from 6,507 units sold in January 2017 to 9,437 units sold in January 2018. Subaru's Senior Vice President of Sales Jeff Walters said, In January, the all-new Crosstrek again exceeded our expectations and delivered an outstanding result. Our portfolio of SUV models continues driving new customers to Subaru. The arrival later this year of the three-row 2019 Subaru Ascent SUV will be an exciting addition to our lineup. Subaru is also celebrating its 50th anniversary this year, with its official anniversary date on February 15, 2018. To commemorate the occasion, they will be featuring 50th Anniversary Edition models for each of their vehicles at the 2018 Chicago Auto Show.